What's up everyone, my name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Tuft & Needle Hybrid Mattress. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about the mattress, run through the construction, the pros and cons, how it feels in different sleeping positions, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you can have a pretty good idea if you're gonna to wanna to get, so stay tuned. If you want to see a list of my favorite mattresses, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. If you have any questions about today's review or you want me to give you a personal recommendation, I'm happy to do so and I do read and reply back to every single comment on YouTube, so just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, we have the Tuft & Needle Hybrid, comes from Tuft & Needle, obviously. I've reviewed that mattress, the original mattress, many times before, and the Mint mattress, and I've also reviewed a ton of hybrid mattresses recently, so I decided to jump in, kind of see how this mattress compared to all those other mattresses. All right, let's start by talking about what's inside the Tuft & Needle Hybrid mattress. Starting with the cover, the nice soft cover. It's actually quilted with what appears to be memory foam. So you can see here, if I squeeze there, it's kind of that slow moving memory foam feel. So that's pretty nice. Moving on to the mattress now, we have adaptive foam, which you'll see in the other uh, Tuft & Needle mattresses. It's infused with graphite and gels. So it's gonna help you sleep cool. Uh, it's also kind of combines memory foam and latex-like qualities. So you'll see that's pretty responsive. Yeah, pretty soft. It's gonna have pretty good pressure relief overall. Then you can't really see here, but there's a quick little layer of micro coils gonna help kind of individually contour the curves of your body, um, be supportive and comfortable at the same time. Then a transition layer and then pocketed coils. So very interesting construction overall here. Um, because of this kind of memory foam quilting, you're gonna sink into the mattress a little bit, get a, just a tiny bit of that memory foam feel, but underneath that, it's gonna be very responsive. So we'll see what that looks like. So it's gonna be kind of a balanced feel overall. It's also gonna be very supportive. You have two sets of coils in here and pretty comfortable as well. You have a pretty thick kind of comfort layer overall. So it's both comfortable and supportive and you're gonna sleep cool at night. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six out of 10 with 10 being the firmest. It's a little bit softer than average. The reason I feel that way is you have some pretty soft foam layers on top. It's pretty easy to put your hand down into the mattress initially, then it gets quite firm underneath that. So when you kind of combine that feeling, it's a little bit softer than average, about a six out of 10. As far as the feel is concerned, the number one thing I could say is just balance. So you're gonna have not a quite sleeping on top of the mattress feel, not quite sleeping in the mattress feel. You're gonna sink in, but not too much. There's a little bit of a memory foam feel, but not too much just because there's that memory foam kind of quilted into the uh, the cover. Then it's pretty responsive other than that. There's gonna be a little bit of bounce, but not a lot. I'll show you with this lacrosse ball. So you're gonna have nice pressure relief. It's gonna be very supportive overall. So it's a nice balanced feel overall. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting in my back, first thing I notice is my hips sink in. It's a little bit soft, but supportive at the same time. So it conforms very well to the curves of my body that you can kind of feel the coils kind of holding you up other than that. It's a very good match for me from a support perspective on my back. Switching on to my side now, I notice that it's pretty good pressure relief. You can definitely feel the softness and just the pressure relief of the memory foam and the adaptive foam layer. So I would say a pretty good match for me on my side as well. Switching onto my stomach now, I would say just a little bit too soft. It has a pretty thick comfort layer overall and it's pretty soft in those top foam layers. I would say I'd probably look for something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive if you sleep on your stomach. Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing. It shows you exactly how well every mattress relieves pressure. So I'm gonna get down a pressure map here, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. You're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. Only thing to note is if you have a different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, but I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe and I give my experience with the Tough Needle Hybrid Mattress here. So as Joe said, with a hybrid mattress like this, when you have supportive coils and some softer layers above that, if you're a larger person, you're gonna press further into the mattress than a lighter person might. So I'm here to give my experience with the hybrid here. So the Tough Needle Hybrid, in terms of firmness, Joe said it was a six out of 10, but for me, it was closer to a six and a half out of 10 
because I am pressing further in, feeling a little bit more firmness than Joe did. But let's talk about all three sleeping positions. Starting on my back, really good match for me. Good overall support, good lumbar support, hip sink in the right amount. It's really comfortable feel overall, but still supportive at the same time. Very nice for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I expected to feel some more pressure on my shoulders and my hips, but actually it's still a good match for me as a side sleeper. I'm sinking that top layer. It's very, very plush. Very nice pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. I will say again, I'm 230 pounds. If you're heavier, like in the upper 200s, 300 pound weight range, you're gonna press further into this mattress. Definitely feel some more pressure than Joe did and more than I did. But finally moving to my stomach, not enough support for me overall. So I am bowing at the hips somewhat, getting out of alignment, not the best match for stomach sleeping. So I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, this is a great option. If you're heavier side sleeper, kind of my weight range, like 230 to 260 pounds, good match for you as well. Heavier stomach sleepers though, are gonna wanna look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider motion transfer. Basically, if your partner's moving around that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, I have a glass here. I'm gonna create a little disturbance around the glass, see how it reacts. Got memory foam quilted to this cover, so it should do pretty well here. You can see that the glass isn't really moving too much. I also had Martin on my team kind of jump in out of bed, create a little disturbance. I didn't really feel that motion transfer to me too much, so I would say this is a pretty good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're going to want to consider edge support. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like it's going to fall off? I'm on the edge here. You can see that the foam is collapsing just a little bit, but I actually feel pretty good um, sitting on the edge of the bed here. I'm going to lie down on my back now. And I'm not really getting that sort of rolling off the bed feeling, so I would say the edge support in this case is pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna talk through some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. I think if you're looking for a medium firm mattress or something just slightly softer than average, I'd definitely take a look at this mattress. I put it about a six out of 10. Usually I'd say medium is about a six and a half out of 10. Uh, this is also very good for side sleeping. I felt very good pressure relief when on my side and back sleeping as well. So it was very comfortable and supportive. So it's a great balance of comfort and support, which makes it very good for people who switch positions at night. So if you're kind of a combination sleeper, I would definitely take a look at this mattress as well. Also, if you're worried about kind of sleeping hot, I think they'd do a very good job uh, addressing that in the construction. So if you're worried about sleeping hot, I would also take a look at this mattress. All right, we know about the pros, but what are the cons and who is this mattress not the best fit for? Number one thing I can think of is stomach sleepers. I would probably look for something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive, given that it's about a six out of 10. I would usually look for something that's more like a seven, seven and a half, eight, if you're just a stomach sleeper. Also, if you want something that's extra firm or extra soft, this is kind of right in the middle. So I would definitely take a look at another mattress if that is the case. Um, also, it's certain types of feels. Uh, this doesn't really provide. It's kind of a balanced feel overall. So you get a little bit of a memory foam feel, but not too much. You sink in, but not too much. So if you want like an extra bouncy feel, like something that natural latex provides, I would look elsewhere, or if you want just a kind of a pure memory foam feel, I'll look elsewhere as well. All right, if you're taking a look at the Tuft Needle Hybrid, you probably see that Tuft Needle has the original Tuft Needle and the Mint Mattress that are all for less expensive than this is. So which one should you get and why should you get this hybrid? Um, so with this hybrid, you're gonna get more out of it. It's definitely a better mattress overall. It's gonna be more supportive. You're gonna have pocketed coils instead of foam and support layer. You're gonna have micro coils. You're gonna have more layers overall. Probably better edge support. Um, cooling will be about the same. Uh, the firmness is actually about the same with the Mint, in my opinion, and pretty close to the, the original Tuft Needle as well. The overall feel is just more supportive too. So if you're heavier, I would definitely go for this. You have higher support needs. I think it's better for back sleeping overall. So in my opinion, it's definitely a better mattress. Um, it's definitely a step up in price. So the thing you really have to decide is, is it really that much better given the, the extra step up in price, even though I do definitely think it is better. Wanted to give you some additional information about this mattress. You're gonna get free shipping and returns, 100 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty. They also have physical stores and partner stores available where you can try out the mattress. So type in your zip code on the website and it'll show you the nearest location where you can actually try out the mattress. They also have two other mattresses available, the original and the mint, and they also have a ton of accessories available as well. All right, so if you've decided you wanna buy this mattress, it's helpful to know what the delivery process and the unboxing process is like. So it's gonna show up in a box. My recommendation is to get two people, unless you're super duper strong, it's a pretty heavy mattress. Bring it to your bedroom, put it close to your base, kind of open it up. There's some instructions in there, but it's pretty simple. You can either use scissors or kind of a cutting tool, place it down, get it on the base, kind of roll it out, and then slowly, one by one, just kind of, kind of cut the plastic layers. I wouldn't cut too much too quickly, don't cut into the mattress, and it's gonna be a pretty simple process though it'll start expanding usually there's a noticeable smell um, so i would give it probably 24 hours to air out it does dissipate after that after that it should be pretty good to go you could probably sleep on it that night but i'd probably again give it 24 hours to let that smell dissipate 
All right, to wrap up, I think a lot of people are really gonna like this mattress. It is a very, very good balance of comfort and support. If you want something that's kind of medium firmness, a little bit softer than average, uh, maybe you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, or you switch between the two, it's definitely gonna be something that you're gonna really enjoy. I'll just caution you if you want something extra firm or extra soft, or if you're just a kind of a pure stomach sleeper, or you want something like a pure memory foam feel or a pure latex kind of bouncy feel, I would maybe look elsewhere, but I do think a lot of people are really gonna like this mattress. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress, buying journey definitely check out mattressclarity.com if you want to see a full list of my top basically it if you're just getting started your best mattress once again let me know if you have any questions